Yeah, I'll, I'll get into the detail of the union busting bill that's just been defeated in the Senate. I've got Danita Warren from Master Builders coming on in just a moment, Jane. But uh, this mm. is going to be a bit of a difficult loss for the government in, in the sense that, you know, when one thing goes against you politically, it almost seems that other things, uh, you know, that the, you know, the ball hits the net and it falls against you as well. Um, the government would have been hoping for, in this last fortnight of Parliament, a really strong showing to head into the summer mm. well. But... Uh, they won the election and this is I think the, the first time you've really seen Labor attempt to land a blow. Uh, how do you think this will play out for Pauline Hanson, the issue of the union legislation? Well, I thought your observations were really fascinating about the money. Look, Pauline Hanson and, and where donations go, uh, Pauline Hanson has had some huge wins at the moment. She has been terrific with the drought. She's really shown the government up. She's shown the nationals up. Uh, you know, people who listen to Talkback Radio will ring in and say, I don't often agree with Pauline Hanson, but she has been terrific. So I think she might feel perhaps emboldened. She's been very good on dairy and I think she was going to reintroduce that uh, dairy bill today talk, talking about a minimum price. She's been very effective against the Agriculture Minister Bridget McKenzie. And I do have, uh, I've got almost got a bob each way on this one. I think if Hanson and Lambie look like they're standing up for workers and workplace safety, that was sort of the issue that um, Lambie was taking with these amendments uh, and talking about the right to strike, that might have some cut through in the electorate. Uh, you know, and people who don't follow it too closely. Uh, but I think overall she blindsided the government and I'm not sure that it is the best move for her. I'm like you. I want to rake over it tomorrow and see just exactly what it all means uh, and see where the tail on this story goes. I don't think it's really harmed her yet. But as I, as I said, she's quite emboldened at the moment, doing some very, very good things. But... Uh, I think once people see the detail, there might be some questions. And she's certainly damaged the government today. Well, she's damaged the relationship because it looks like the government was absolutely blindsided. That footage we saw of Matthias yep. Cormann, he's the Senate leader. In addition to being the finance minister, uh, he looked like he did not see this coming.